Hello again, I am Blunty. This, of course, is the Quest 3. You might have heard about it. It's the follow-up to the mold's most popular VR headset, the Quest 2. And like its predecessor, you can use it in standalone mode or as a Steam VR headset. And unlike its predecessor, it's also becoming a rather big deal in how well it's doing mixed reality stuff. And frankly, people are being really, really boring about that part of it. Should be exciting, but it's boring. That's also a good thing. You've seen that video? You should watch that video. Up to this one though. These though are human eyeballs. They're mine. I've had them for as long as I can remember, but like a few other bits of this meat Gundam that my uh, soul ghost pilots around this filthy mud ball of a planet called Earth, they're less than perfect. I, like about 60% of people, need corrective lenses to make it so I can see things better and also stop these goo-filled ocular sensory organs from getting tired and painful from looking at things for too long. So given that statistic, and that is a proper statistic, by the way, Google it for yourself, 60% of people need glasses. It's always struck me as kind of weird. A lot of VR headset designs are rather less than comfortable to wear with glasses on. More than half the customers who could be buying these things need them to be better designed. And they just aren't. The Quest 3 is one of the more decent examples, though. Its facial interface, a uh, spacer thingy, has a built-in adjustment uh, to help make more space for glasses frames. And my own glasses, fairly ordinary set of nerd frames, fit in there okay-ish. But I do not wear my glasses inside VR headsets. Number one, it's not super comfortable no matter what. Number two, it makes putting on and taking off the device itself a lot more awkward and... and number three... There's a constant risk that one of the lenses on my glasses touch the lenses of the VR unit and they might scratch each other, ruining one or both. There is also a third rather big drawback too, but I'll come back to that one in a couple of minutes. And so we finally come to the reason you clicked on this video. These are the Zenni VR prescription lenses. Well, this is just the case, they're actually there. Uh, the officially endorsed option for prescription lenses inserts for the Quest 3. But not the only option. I've got another pair of lenses from a third-party supplier coming in for review sometime soonish. So sub and bell and keep an eye out for the VR Rock insert lens review, plus other Quest 3 accessories I'm looking at, including the head strap that's on this thing right now. That's coming real soon as well. But the Zenni ones here are available direct through Meta's own website and, of course, Zenni's website. Zenni Optical have been around for about 20 years and one of those China-based online glasses places that you can save a whole bunch of money you compared to using a local uh, optometrist kind of place. You run the usual risk of dubious quality and problematic customer support as you do with any of these cheapo Chinese places. But in Zenni's case, I've actually found them to be pretty decent. I've owned uh, a pair of regular glasses from them before. Uh, that's these right here. They were fine. I mean, my frames broke within three years right at the nose bridge piece. Uh, they're just cheap plastic frames. I wasn't too surprised by that. Uh, the rather more vital part, though, zero complaints about the lenses. They were and are indeed excellent. I glued the frame back together and still have them here, obviously. Um, they're my emergency backup pair of glasses, just in case, you know, these get lost or scratched or whatever. It's a similar story with the Zenni VR prescription lenses. The very first thing I noticed when unpacking them was the fact that these lenses were extremely clear uh, and optically flawless. Very, very clean work. Uh, but the other thing I noticed was the frames, the, the lenses, uh, they wobble a bit inside the frames, which not super confidence inspiring. But it's not like I was afraid they would just fall out of there. They're not loose, they just move a little bit. It's just not something I'm used to seeing corrective eyewear do, and not something I've experienced with either of the two other different sets of corrective lens inserts I've used on other VR headsets in the past. Each frame is helpfully stamped with an L and an R for reasons I would hope are self-evident. Not strictly necessary as the lens apertures inside here, inside the Quest 3, are not perfectly round anyway. So you can't really put them on the wrong one. They, don't, they won't fit. By nature, you, physically, you can't do that. But, you know, it's still kind of handy to make sure you don't accidentally try and do that without thinking about it because you could potentially scratch the lenses by trying to put them on backwards or upside, you know, whatever. They clip into place with a simple pressure fit and a mild little click, uh, and they seem very, very secure in there. Uh, if you share your headset with others, it's simple enough to remove them again in a few seconds, although I'd worry repeatedly doing this over a long stretch of time may cause wear that would make the fit looser over time because it is a, a clutch fit. 
Um, some of the brands offer magnetically attached options that might suit that scenario better, but I have no recommendations for you there yet, as I've never used them. I did reach out to a company who makes them that way, but they never got back to me. Shrug. Now, physically, what changes? Not much, actually. There is something to be aware of, though. So let's bounce back to that third drawback I was talking about, about using regular glasses inside these things. Because your regular glasses take up physical space on your face, that also means the VR headsets lenses can't be as close to your eyes as they can without glasses frames in the way. And this has the intrinsic result of reducing your field of view inside VR. If they're further away from you, you can't you know, see sideways as much. Uh, the, and, and that's a big issue because peripheral vision and the situational awareness it affords is a pretty big part of feeling properly immersed in VR. You want as much field of vision as possible. So that said, you'd think lenses like this that clip like right on the other, other lenses there, that they perfectly solve that issue, right? The answer is yes. For some of you, maybe. For me, no. In the few days between getting my Quest 3 and receiving these lenses, I was using the Quest 3 without glasses. As I said, I don't like using these inside VR, so I was just doing without. My particular prescription corrects for a slight astigmatism. I'm not long or short-sighted at all, so that means I can just use VR headsets without corrective lenses reasonably comfortably, but only for short periods, and it's not a perfect image. I tried to keep it down to sort of less than an hour before taking at least a 90 minute break between sessions just so I don't give myself eye strain or fatigue or give myself a migraine or something atrocious. Um, and despite things not being absolutely crystal clear, of course, it was still pretty amazing. And without glasses, uh, I can use it on the closest fitting facial interface setting. Uh, and with that, I was getting a field of view of 108 degrees horizontal and 94 vertical. A very noticeable step up from the 88 and 84 I was getting from the Quest 2 back there. These numbers come from a test world in VR chat. They're not like scientifically calibrated, so it may not be 100% accurate, but they are still a very useful apples to apples comparison consistent within itself. So when I put on the Zenni lenses, I found that I added just enough extra depth to the lenses that the closest facial interface setting now made it so my eyelashes were brushing up against the lenses. Every time I blinked, I could feel it, which personally I find way too distracting feeling. I just, no, I can't, I can't deal with that. So I had to back it up one notch of the four that are available. And with that done, I lost a little bit of field of view. I'm now at 106 horizontal, not 108. Interestingly, my vertical field of view remained consistent. And yes, it's a relatively tiny change, two degrees. And frankly, it's so minor I couldn't tell without measuring it, honestly. But for the purposes of answering that question for a review, yes, using these can result in a very slight reduction of field of view, depending on the length of your eyelashes, I suppose. <laughs> and as you'd hope, they are indeed crystal clear. My prescription was perfect, the alignment was perfect, which is an issue I've had in previous sets of lenses for VR headsets from VR Optical, if I remember correctly, they didn't quite get the rotational axis of my right eye's astigmatism correction right. And that's a pretty important thing to get right when you have astigmatism, because if it's wrong, it doesn't help at all. It was only slightly off and I could sort of force it around the extra degree or two I needed. It didn't quite fit the way it, I, got, I got it to work, but it was less than ideal and I was a bit disappointed by it. But Zeddy nailed it perfectly, and I can detect no noticeable artifacts from the extra glass in the lens stack now. That same world I used for the FOV test has a bunch of other tests for common VR lens screen issues for different kinds of lenses and whatnot and screens. And my results with and without the Zeni lenses were either identical or, of course, better because you know, they, they correct my vision, so of course some of the tests would be better. I can see detail better now, obviously. An extra line of the old, you know, read this line of, of, of letters off the chart as the letters get smaller and smaller, that kind of test. I could read an extra line with these on. Um, but I detect no extra reflections, internal refractions, or ghosting or whatnot. They're super great, and I'm very, very happy with them. And man, now that my vision is corrected, I'm even more impressed by how astonishingly clear the Quest 3's new lenses and screens compared to my previous VR headsets are. Beautiful. So to wrap up, yeah, I have no reservations about recommending the Zenni VR prescription lenses at all. They seem perfectly fine to me in my experience. Sample size of one. <laughs>
I ordered my set direct from Zenny's own website uh, as soon as they opened up international shipping, which I didn't do immediately when this thing announced, but you know. I placed my order on the 13th of October and received my lenses via courier with a tracking number exactly one week later, which is a much faster manufacture and shipping turnaround than I experienced a few years back when I got some regular glasses from them. So that was a pleasant surprise. Uh, the lenses were 50 smackers with another 10 for shipping, bringing it up to 60 USD or about 95 Aussie beer purchasing units after conversion, which, thank you patrons, that is what you helped me with towards this month. Very handy, thank you. To everyone else, thanks for watching uh, all the way through. I hope this has been useful for you. And if it has, please, you know, do the thumb. Uh, maybe comment about your own lens experiences or glasses experience inside VR as well. But outside of all of that, thank you very much for watching. I am Blunty and I'll catch you next time. Enjoy your VRing.